Hi, my name is Vijay Kumar. I am a SAP MM consultant. Today I would like to share the knowledge of SAP MM course. My channel is VJ Software Hub. Please like, subscribe and share. Click on bell icon. Whenever I upload a video, you will get notifications. No more waste of time. Let's begin the course. Before going to it, we should know that full form of SAP. SAP is System Applications Product and Data Processing. SAP is a German multinational software corporation based that develops enterprise software to manage business operations and customer relations. The company is especially known for its enterprise resource planning software. It's founded in 1st April 1972. SAP SAP which operates multiple business functions which are different types of business process like procurement, manufacturing, fulfillment, inventory, business intelligence, reporting, customer service, customer relationship management, human capital management, financial and asset management, sales and order management. SAP modules, we have two types of modules like technical and functional. In technical, we have SAP ABAP, basis, netware, etc. In functional, we have FICO, SD, MM, HR, HANA, PP, BA, HCM and other different types of modules we have in SAP. SAP architecture. What is SAP R3 system architecture? SAP R3 is one of the main product of SAP where R stands for real time and the number 3 relates to 3 tier application architecture, database, application and client. Most of the business runs in SAP R3 system. Above 80% of companies implemented this software. We have in SAP R1, R2, R3 architecture. R1 architecture that is one tier architecture. In a one tier R1 system, configurations all processing tasks are performed on one server as is classic mainframe processing like applications, database and client server in one framework. You can see the below the image. Two tier architecture. Two tier R2 system configurations are usually implemented for special presentation server that are responsible for formatting the graphical user interface GUI. In two tier architecture, database plus application server in same system and presentation client in different system. You can observe below the image. R3 3 tier architecture. In a 3 tier architecture, separate servers are used for each tier using data from database server. Several different application servers can operate at same time. To ensure that the load on individual servers is as even as possible and to be performed, you can see use a special application server for individual application area such as distributed or financial accounting like logon and load balancing. In this screen, you can observe clearly SAP R3 architecture. Here, presentation layer, application layer, database layer are separately SAP has designed. Because of this, the work will be going in a smooth way and no delay. In database layer, we can see work process. In application layer, what are the work process is here? taken in applications and they are going to develop there. After development, 
they want to send that information to presentation layer with the SAP GUI. In beside the image, you can see difference of R1, R2, R3 architecture of SAP has implemented. ERP. What is ERP? ERP is Enterprise Resource Planning. SAP is a ERP software which integrated with different types of modules of business process like which is in supply chain management, manufacturing, internet of things, project management, customer relationship management, service management, sales and marketing, human resource management, asset management, business intelligent, big data analyst, finance management. Enterprise resource planning includes planning and executing and reporting across multiple business functions or business unit to manage various functional area within the enterprise. You need to have an approximate system or applications. Today's ERP system can cover a wide range of functions and integrate them into one unique field database. Originally, ERP systems were used to control only like human resource, supply chain management, customer relationship management, financing, manufacturing, and warehouse management were all single standalone software applications. Usual household with their own database and network. Today, however, they all fit in one umbrella that is. ERP system. ERP packages. What is ERP packages? ERP packages we have Oracle, Siebel, PeopleSoft, JD, Edward, Band, Dynamica, and etc. Later on, that SAP has developed its own software, SAP HANA database. SAP Arting Structure. In this screen, you can observe the structure of SAP, which is integration of two modules like SAP MM SD. Even the client and company code is must to all modules like PICO and plant maintenance, project management. So everything is a company code is a base point. In this screen, you can observe that between Client and company code, controlling area, chart of accounts, and credit control area, and chart of distribution description we have. Here we can see that between these two, the finance accounting team will work controlling area of GL accounts, when chart of accounts is liability, assets, manufacturer, losses, profit, where the amount will be credit and debit will be operated it chart of accounts and that description control credit area also will be operate in this screen you can observe company code will assign as a purchase automation and plant store locations shipping point and purchasing group and also below it sales automation sales distribution division sales office and sales group this is like a sap mmsd coming to sap ordinance structure the company code client will like plays crucial role for all modules sap mm ordinance structure this is the main our sap mm course client Company code, plant, store location, purchase ordination, purchasing group. Here, company code will be created by finance team. P2P. What is P2P? P2P is nothing but procure to pay. Here, you can see clearly requirement planning, request for quotation, creation of purchase order, goods receipt, 
preparation of goods receipt creation of payment of invoice and in payment reporting in this scenario you can observe clearly in any organization uh, there is a material requirement will be there so our person will be gathered the requirement of material and he will raise the purchase requisition and then next to the request for quotation to the vendor in between purchase order and request for quotation there is a scenario vendor selections price comparison will be going to happen after that we have to choose the particular vendor who has given very less price to our good quality of items then creation of purchase order will be going to happen after that vendor will send the goods receipt to our warehouse and we will check the items and then he will create a payment of invoice of items then we will cross check with that invoice verification and make a payment and reporting will be going to happen this is a p2p process what is two way and three way match in sap we have two ways and three ways two way matching system make sure all data on purchase order to invoice elegance in three way matching system goes one step future and makes certain the data on purchase order invoice and sales receipt are the same in below the you can observe two way process and three way process two way process purchase order to invoice there is no gr in three way process we can see purchase order goods receipt invoice nothing but a ir this is a sap screen here you can see the options like create a new sections and can generate shortcut and beside the screen you can see back exit log of keys and here the when we want to log off this system go to system click on log off and below the screen you can observe what is menu bar in menu bar if the items are menu edit favorites extra system help and standard toolbar you can observe the those icons and this is a command bar where we can give t codes and title bar the sap easy access and application toolbar where we can see in the screen coming section we have we are going to create a organic structure of sap mm thank you stay tuned my channel vj software hub please like subscribe and share click on bell icon